Ooh, that smells good. Mm. Wow. You all know what happened the last time I wore a high-end perfume that I got in a um, sample in my Sephora. So when I had gone up to Jay, he kind of really bummed me out because he said, it smelled like mice poop. As you can tell, this perfume that I had on in the clip that you just saw, really, he liked it. Let's just put it that way. He really liked it. So this is, I'm going to, I know I'm going to butcher this, but this is La Vie Est Ebedi from Lancome. I really like it. I showed this on my Instagram page and I had some people say, oh, you know, you might not like it. Some other people say, oh, you'll love it. But the one thing about perfume is it's very individual. I've had this for two weeks now, just about two weeks. And I've been wearing it most every day. And I've had a number of really nice compliments on it. Now, it's a very, it's a very, I want to say, um, a feniment. It, 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 it's like, to me, it's very romantic. There is a little bit of a florally. I think it's like a lily. It's a very, very pretty feniment scent. And I love it. So this was sent to me, and I was absolutely tickled, tickled pink. This was sent to me from Lancome and via the Octoly website and in exchange for my thoughts on it. Now, my mom is a Lancome user. You've seen some of my previous video clips where she's talked about her favorite perfume. So I was super, super looking forward to trying this, and I, I actually like it. And hey, as you could tell from that little clip, and I'm going to insert the rest of that clip because I was actually getting ready to go to work, and Jay was scraping off the ice in my car, on my car, after the ice storm. So you get to see that. And then at the tail end, it's sort of like a mixture. It's going to be a little bit of a this and that type of a video. And I'll add the, the rest of the clip after this. But I want to talk about the three primers that I have been using. So I'm not an, a primer person. I never really use a primer, just like I haven't yet started to use concealers. I haven't mastered the art of concealers yet or found one that in my opinion doesn't make my creepy 60, almost 64 year old eyes look worse than they are. And they are pretty bad. I mean, I have a lot of wrinkles in there. I'm an ordinary fan. I like a lot of their serums. Their foundations, when I ordered their colors, was a huge epic fail for me. I hated, hated, sorry, Desam. I hated those foundations, the colors and the serum colors that I got. They were just incredibly yellow, did not work for me. So I was a little bit leery about trying the primer, but everyone kept saying if you use a primer under your makeup, your makeup will stay longer. And if you use any kind of like um, color correction on, because I have very, very uh, red veins or cap, 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 yeah, broken all over the place. So they said if you use a primer under your makeup, it'll stay longer. These are the three that I've been using. I um, got this one in my BoxyCharm. This is the Dr. Brandt. Luminizer Primer Base, and then these two I ordered. The Ordinary High Adhesive Silicone Primer, and then I had ordered the High Spreadability Fluid Primer, this one. So these are my two primers, plus this one. So I've been wearing this since I got the BoxyCharm, alternating with these two, probably now for a good two weeks. Yeah, they may make my makeup stay on a little bit longer, but even with these, my red veins still pop through, so that didn't that didn't keep the veins at bay uh, all day at all. Out of the three primers, this one, I will have to tell you, on my skin, this was the worst one. I really had high expectations of this because I'd read a lot of reviews and heard a lot of other people talk about it. But for me, when I put it on, it, it spread very, very, if you're, if you're thinking about getting it, it's, it's creamy. You can see this little white and it spread very very easily on my face and I couldn't really see when I put it on any kind of a pore minimizing effect at all. This one from the ordinary, I use my magnifying glass, my old lady eyes, this one from the ordinary high adhesive silicone primer, surface primer, smoother and primer. I put this on and I could see a slight surfacing, smoother, you know, look, slightly. And then I put my foundation on over it, and it wore about the same as this. But 
when I put this baby on, and this is the High Spreadability Fluid Primer, Surface Primer, lightweight. This is like thick. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is like a thick gobbiness of gook. Gobbiness of gook. But you put like, I don't know if you can catch that, but I almost immediately when I put it on, I actually, and even on my hands, I know the camera isn't going to pick it up, but even on my hands it did the same thing. It actually kind of filled in some of my pores. Now I have some really big pores that I've been working using my niacinamide and all that stuff, but they're still there. The prime, this primer actually filled it in. I could almost see an immediate smoothing effect. Then when I put my makeup on, um, my makeup covered and lasted the same as these two. There was really no huge difference on how my makeup lasted on me, but a huge difference on how the pores filled in. So if I, if I, when I, when I finish, I'm gonna try to finish these, when I finish this and this, and I have to go buy one of these, I would repurchase this one. Even though it's thick as goop, I would repurchase this one because it did it for me. So that I thought was pretty cool. So that's that's how I feel about that. And the other thing that I got in, oh, hey, did you guys today, I don't know when this is going to be live, but did you guys watch the live stream that Fritzy, let's see, Fritzy had when they did, they did the eye makeup and all that and had uh, Marlene Fab and Glam and Melissa 55 and Trish Oliver and Michelle. Uh, it was like unbelievable. They, they did amazing, amazing job on eye palettes. So, I, again, this is about my level. I need these directions. But I um, had requested this palette. It's a wet and dry palette. I haven't used it yet. Just came in. And this is from Clarins. So they sent me this to try out and see. Little do they know that I'm not really an eyeshadow expert. I'm just like a real person, you know, just trying to figure it out, dabble with it. I'm not a, a beauty guru or a glamour puss or anything like that. But I, I thought this packaging was like unbelievable. I mean, it came in this box with this little velvet thing and then it opens up into this adorable, I get fingerprints on it, adorable little, little compact. And then when you open it up, I'm going to see if I can cover the mirror. It has a really nice mirror. And these are the colors. Are those my colors or what? I think these are my colors. So I thought that was like thoroughly amazing. I haven't swatched, swatched them or anything yet. But these are my colors for sure. So, um, yeah, so that live stream, watching them, you know, use their palette and put their eye makeup on and all of it was directed by the audience, by the subscribers that were watching the live stream. I thought it was absolutely hysterical. So uh, that said, it, uh, for me, was a crazy week and it started with the beginning of the week with this ice storm. So we had an ice storm last night. It's unbelievable. It's like, it took me forever to get home from work and it was like driving on an ice skating rink. I hate black ice. So this morning, Jay's been outside scraping my vehicle. You filming? I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. Is my car all scraped off? Yeah, I ended up doing all that and salt on the driveway and... What? You got new perfume on? Ooh, okay. smells good. Mm. Wow. Oh, you're being silly. <laughs> you no, know, it smells do you really like the yeah, perfume? Yeah, I like it. it. Smells good. Really? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I do. I am wearing new perfume. I'm going to review it. Mmm. Whoa. <laughs> it passes the J sniff test. So now where was I? <laughs> I can't remember what I was saying. Oh, um, yes, it's like driving on a clear sheet of black ice. It's like really, really scary. And so he's been scraping my car off. I've got to go into Londonderry. And um, I'm going to teach a realtor professional guidelines class. Yeah, it's all about co-broke etiquette. It's all about how to behave at showings. <laughs> oh, it's a fun class because I do talk about a lot of bad behavior. Oh, well. Later, guys. That was so scary. That was like just such a scary ride. As I said earlier, we had freezing rain last night. It's like a ice skating rink, right?
And then I'm driving in this morning. There were warning signs all over the highway saying freezing rain possible. Well, it wasn't possible. It was happening. It was so so bad. It was freezing everything on contact. You couldn't keep your windows clear. The windshield wipers, everything was awful. Anyways, I always debate in bad weather whether to take the highway, take the back roads. The back roads, I feel more secure because I can drive slower, but the back roads are not treated as readily or as quickly as the highways are. So the roads are usually a heck of a lot worse and oh man so i decided to do the highway well the highway the speed limit 65 and they had warning signs and warning signs and warning signs and i'm going 55 you know 50 55 my comfort zone on the highway i'm in the inside lane and this is what i used to call in high school days the old lady lane but i'm in the inside lane and people are passing me and you know people are going fast and it's a sheet of ice and even though it's treated they can't keep up with it because it's 26 degrees and we had ice overnight and it's just ice on contact. It's just really, really, really awful and scary and I hate driving in this. Now I have to navigate from my car into the building and I'm afraid I'm going to slip. Oh, and then when I came out, when I went down on the ramp, I get down to the bottom of the ramp and the car that passed me on the highway slid right through and into the road. Oh, unreal. So I picked this up in Marshall's. I don't know. I'm hoping to use this as a carry-on for my Texas trip. It's been so long since I've been on a plane. I'm like, oh no. So I, I bought that, like some luggage. And then I bought these little funky little bottles to, to put my stuff in. Um, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe Maybe you can't even take them on in those bottles, but... So I have no idea, but I'm hoping that's the right size. I'm hoping. So I'm starting my yoga class tonight. I bought like yoga socks. Uh, I found my yoga mat and I just, I just like some workout pants, you know, like those like stretchy. I don't like them because I feel like I look fat on them, you know? And every time I say to Jay, does my butt look fat? He goes, oh no, honey, I love your bum. So I took that yoga class last night and I packed everything up in the morning. I had my yoga mat, I had my yoga socks, I had another pair of socks, I had a towel, and it was all set to go. And then I drove to work, I got to work, I had this big management meeting till about 1.30, and I realized I left my yoga stuff at home. And the yoga class was in the office right after work. And would I drive 35, 40 minutes one way to come home and get the yoga mat and back and, you know, lose over an hour of my day to get a yoga mat or did it make more sense to run to TJ Maxx? <laughs> Guess what I did? I ran to TJ Maxx and that was a big mistake because 90 bucks later, a second yoga mat, a pair of pants, yoga socks, eyeglasses, sunglasses. I got some sunglasses I really like and then I, um, I got another travel bag. <laughs> Oh my God, so I don't know which one I'm gonna keep now. So, these are many shades, what do you think? They were just, um, they were just 10 bucks, but you know what, I need to get my prescription sunglasses, which will be several hundred bucks, uh, because I use um, transitions or bifocals or, you know, the no lines and all of that stuff. So they're never cheap. Mm -mm. So I can't see, I can't read with these. I can see, but I can't read. But I like them. I think they look cool. Oh my gosh, it is 19 degrees. And yesterday, I was just feeling spring. Why? I don't know. Maybe because it was kind of sunny and it didn't get dark at 4 o'clock. That must have been it. But 19 degrees. Oh, I lied. 18 degrees. Like I said, I can't read with these. So... I mentioned that I had bought this particular bag and I really, I mean, I really liked it and it's, I think it's a perfect carry-on size, I think. And then when, you know, and it wasn't all that expensive, it was like 29 of course Marshall's, you know, compared 59 I'm just figuring for a carry-on, I like the size, I like the, the compartments. And then... Um, because I forgot my yoga mat the other day, I actually had to go 
and buy a yoga mat for my yoga class rather than come home. I went to TJ Maxx and I saw this bag. Now I happen to like um, Bagalini. I think they're they're great every day. I have a couple of Bagalini uh, bags, handbags, and I think they're great every day. But I bought this and I said, well, maybe that will be better because I like the way it's constructed. It would be the type of thing that could fold in a suitcase really easy, which is why I like Bagalini bags. But then I brought it home and I said, well, geez, I think it's too small. But then I'm thinking, hmm, maybe I should keep it and maybe I can, you know, put a lot of my computer stuff in there when I go to work. And this was a little bit more expensive. This was, um, uh, TJ, TJ Maxx's price was $39.99, regular price, compare it $67.99, but then the Bagalini ticket was $98, so who knows. Then I also bought these little bottles and the luggage tags for my trip. I told you I had a crazy week. It really, it really was a crazy week. And so now we are on to Super Bowl Sunday. This coming weekend is going to be Super Bowl Sunday. And as you can imagine, New Englanders, we are like so, so psyched about the game. Keep, I'm keeping my fingers crossed for the Patriots. But no matter what, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be a great game. It's going to be a fun, uh, fun adventure. So anyways... That's the scoop. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'd love it if you shared the video. And if you have any suggestions for any future videos, any things you'd like me to talk about, please leave it in the comments below, and I will actually do a video on that topic. I mean, in most cases, maybe. It depends on what the topic is. Bye, guys.